Where shall we go today? Where shall we go? Where do you want to go today? Let's explore Calverton. One of the surprising things about Calverton is it's got a shopping centre. I wasn't expecting that. There's not a lot here though. There's a children's charity shop. There's a, there's a Greg's. But I can't see a sex shop anywhere. I could be wrong though. Oh no, they've even got a bus station. Calverton's got a bus station. It's got everything. Look at it, it's got a notice board. It's got a, a dentist and it's got a bus station. Calverton, it's where it's all happening. Calverton's also got a post office, although obviously it's closed at the moment. Calverton's even got a, like a climbing frame thing, which is really cool. And it's even got a health center, as it says there, Calverton Health Center. It's well good. Calverton Village was very, very old indeed. It was built at least three weeks ago. And as you can see from some of these houses, look how low that window is. I could walk past that and my head wouldn't even touch the top of it. It's very cold as well, which is why the camera's shaking, because it's freezing. But that's Calverton for you. Always cold. Baths as well, but they, they, are, they are quite narrow and a bit dark. And I don't know where it's going. Right, there's the, uh, the public footpath and this is where it ends. On the, an estate. It's a bit boring, isn't it? We'll go back the other way, I think. There are some people who think Calverton is extremely haunted. I'm not convinced it is, to be fair. Mainly because I've been here for at least five minutes and I've not seen or heard a ghost. But of course I wouldn't have done it. Because, let's be honest, ghosts don't exist. Now, if there's going to be a ghost anywhere, you would imagine it would be in this very quaint little church. Although, it's really for worshipping fairy tales, obviously, but it is somewhere to bury the dead. And dead people are ghosts, allegedly, or ghosts are dead people, one or the other. I can never remember which way around it is. But either way, if anywhere is going to be full of ghosts, it's going to be here, isn't it? St. Winifred's Choir Church. Like many churches that were built more than 10 years ago, St. Winifred's Church has got a bit of a problem with probably cracks and things. There's a bit of a crack there on the tower that you just about make it out. But look at this. They've reinforced it with metal, but they've done them in crosses, like this fairy tale says. That's cool, I like that. That's really good, that's clever. Not all of the village is old. Some of the village is quite new. For example, these houses over here, which were only built three weeks ago, last Wednesday. There are some strange names to some of the places here, including Private Street, which sounds like a really crap soldier. Obviously, that's not its real name. It's even sillier. It's actually called Bernor Pool. What kind of, what, what? It's definitely quaint to hear in the old part of town with these quaint little cottages, these slightly bigger cottages, and this posh mansion thing which is behind a big wall. It kind of makes you feel like you're in rural England, which of course we are. You can definitely tell the borders of this old part of the town, where village even, where you've got these old cottage things and you've got old ones on this side as well, hiding behind the trees because of the shy. There you go. There it is. Beautiful. Really, really quaint and lovely places, aren't they gorgeous? And then literally, you stand here, that's the end of that one, that's the end of that one, and then all of a sudden, it's all modern housing, as far as the eye can see. Well, for a way anyway. We've also got here all the amenities you could ever want. There's a tractor there parked outside that house. There's a post box there if you don't have the internet web. If you have a dog and it poos, there's a bin there to put the poo in. There's a road sign here that basically tells you where you need to go. And it even got one for Arnold to show him his way home when he's coming home pissed from the pub. And then of course you've got a litter bin because you have to keep Britain tidy. And there's a bench there as well to sit on, just so that you can keep nice and, um, well, rested while you do your big walk. And then of course you've got a road sign that says Bonner Hill. <laughs> That's a bit rude. Oh yeah, and there's a bus stop that says Church Meadow, which makes it all innocent and lovely again. So welcome to wherever we are. It's gorgeous. I must say it's all a bit risky around here. That sign there says Plum Tree Gardens. I feel like I'm in a carry on film. <laughs> Next to Yew Tree Cottage, which is named after the Holly Bush, we've got this place, which is a hair studio and booty suits. And uh, you can tell it says a sign on it, but look, they also sell ice cream as well. That's nice, isn't it? It does a bit of everything. I love that. They even have here a bus service. And there it is. You get one a fortnight every Wednesday, which is ironic, it's running late because it's Sunday. And then, still outside St. Winifred's Church, look, they have a messy church. I thought it was quite tidy myself, but apparently it's every Saturday. So you've got to, have to come to a messy church, come here, but don't catch the bus because it's only once a fortnight you won't be able to get home. 
road was called Enal Way, but it's a bit faded. It's actually called Renal Way, which is so much better. The <laughs> Renal Tracts. It's all the way up there. This here is a shop. You can tell it's a shop because it's got a massive window on it, but there's no front door. That's a house door. There's a sign here that says, please you use back door, but you don't know what you're using the back door for. But there isn't even a back door. Look, it's just a wall with a gate. So I don't know if you're supposed to get in it. No wonder it's probably shut down. I mean, talk about making easy access for people. That's the polar opposite, isn't it? Ridiculous. Opposite Calverton Fish Bar is St. Winifred's School um, Choir thing. But you can't go in because the lights are on red. So it's closed at the moment. Faith is a four letter word. No, it's not. Faith is a five letter word. Calverton's got everything here. It's got a, like a building site, stroke, archaeologists archite archaeologists um, thing. It's also got an electrical substation um, so they can have electric, but they haven't plugged it in yet. There's even a garage. Look at that, it's a garage. It's a golf garage. You don't see many golf garages that are open anymore. And this isn't an exception because it's closed at the moment. But then you've got one of the best named uh, retailers I've ever seen. They sell gardening machinery, uh, repairs, animal feed specialists, and they are called, <laughs> see me right, Sellers Limited. See me right. I love it. That's brilliant. Oh, did they see me right? Oh, they're shut at the moment. Damn. I do like things that make absolutely no sense. For example, there's this lovely path here with a gate on it and everything, and it goes right up to a brick wall where they bricks up the door. It's a bit like that shop before. How are you supposed to get in there when they bricked it up? Unless it's just for the girls, because this place is haunted apparently. I'm being surrounded by people here, which is a bit scary, so I'm going. Again, something that doesn't make sense. The piece of wood, which used to be like a probably a doorway or something, and now it's just a window. Even the burglar couldn't get in there, but you wouldn't want to anyway, because it's uh, flowers for all occasions. That's what it's called. Well, it's flowers by Lulu. I thought Lulu was a singer and actress. No, was that Twiggy? No, I don't know. And then you've got St. Barbers. It's kind of cool because it gives you them them air cuts like monks have where they just shave the middle bit and leave all the bits around the side. I wish it was open, I could do one of them because my hair's going that way anyway. I mean, seriously, I'm confused now because this is this is a, a road that kind of leads to um, nowhere. And then there's a shop here, an old shop, where the door's been blocked in so you can't get in the shop. And then there's a Baptist church here. I, mean, I don't know what a Baptist church is. I think it's ones who, who like fairy tales and they play cricket. That's the, the bat bit. Uh, oh, it's bat, but not bat. Oh, well, maybe they have sandwiches all the time with bats on. And uh, yeah, and all these little objects and everything are in a place called the Nook. <laughs> it's bizarre. Yeah, I still love it. It's weird. It's not all bad though, because they are very kind. They do leave chairs everywhere for people to sit down on one. There is one here that's behind the uh, the parade of the shops where we started off, which was lovely. Um, that's nice, isn't it? So it's very nice for people who can't walk very far and need to rest a lot. I, I like things that punch above the weight. A bit like Prince Harry and Meghan, that kind of thing. But Calverton has got a boots. It's got a McCall's, but more impressively, I'm not even kidding. It's got a Sainsbury's well, local, but it's got a Sainsbury's. How's it managed that? Talk about punching above your weight. And it's echoing in here. I'm glad there's no one else here. Otherwise, I think there's a loony walking around doing a stupid video about Calverton. Oh. So there you go, then. If you want to come somewhere that's been on the telly, because it's full of ghosts. But of course it isn't, because ghosts don't exist. But it's got some nice footpaths that take you onto estates with houses on. It's got a church that doesn't know how many letters are in the word faith. It's got a petrol station that isn't open. It's got a chip shop that isn't open. It's got buildings you can't get into because there's no blinking doors on them. And it's really, really cold. If you want to come to anywhere like that, you could do a lot worse than come here to Calverton. Till next time, goodbye. Where shall we go today? Where shall we go? Where do you want to go today? Let's explore. Right, we're going up Bona Lane now. Now, allegedly, Bona Lane is haunted and ghosts get into the back of your car while you're still moving. <laughs> yeah, right. So, we're going to go up. Get overtaken, that's fine. He knows the area better than me. So I'm only doing 30 because I've got the gear wrong. Oh, no. Oh, on the floor. No. Disaster. 
part two, eh? So, as I was saying before, I got really interrupted and overtaken. This is uh, Bona Hill. And this is a very scary road where, allegedly, people appear in the back of your car, even though you... It's a sign here that's not very friendly. 